everyone and welcome to Wednesday's writing lesson. Now I hope you enjoyed listening to our topic book yesterday. Today you're going to be twisting the text to plan your own version. So our topic book is called How to Live Forever but you are going to plan your own story so it could be how to fly or how to be invisible. Um, so carry on watching and we'll go through the task together. Okay, so today you're going to be twisting the text that we read through yesterday and using it to create your own fantasy story. So we would like your story to begin with how to, but then you can use your imagination and your creativity to finish off the title. Um, so I've put some examples here um, that you can see in yellow. So it could be how to fly, how to read minds, how to become invisible, um, how to rule the world. Um, the list is endless, really. So use your, your imagination um, and create a title for your story. OK, and these are the things that we're going to be looking for in your writing this week. So we're going to go through them quickly today, just so you've, you've got them in your head when you do your planning. But we will go through them in more detail tomorrow. So you've got at the top there that it's set in an imaginary place or time. So where this book transports your character is an imaginary place. Um, you've used your senses to describe things you can see, hear, smell and touch. You've used some make-believe characters. So it's got here examples of elves, dragons and wizards. Um, but yesterday in the story, it was that child that could live forever. So um, it's not a real a realistic character, it's make-believe. Um, you've got magic and special powers in there, so um, thinking back to the examples, if you've said that you can fly or um, that you're invisible, then that would just tick that box because that's a magical power. Um, you've used setting details to describe special features. Um, so these two kind of link together really that you're using lots of descriptive phrases, lots of powerful adjectives to create that image of the setting. Um, and create atmosphere in your writing. Um, you've used some suspense words or phrases, so short sentences to make it really dramatic, perhaps an ellipsis to kind of keep the reader on edge and want to continue reading. Um, synonyms for said. Um, this one for some of you is your personal target, so this is um, a really good one for you to try and include. Um, so yeah, kind of banning that word said um, and having a look for some powerful words like bellowed, shouted, screeched um, and kind of spending a bit of time with that, checking that you've used those powerful words. Uh, and then finally, some sentence types that you could use. Um, this bit especially is what we're going to spend time doing tomorrow. Um, so we have done some of these with your remote learning so far. Um, I spaced, um, for example, and the Imagine 3 examples. Um, we did those a few weeks ago. Um, and hopefully you remember 2A is having two adjectives in a sentence and 3ED is having three ED words to start it off. So um, terrified, frightened, scared, she ran through the house, for example. Um, but we will go through more of that tomorrow. We would also like you to have a look at the year five, six list and just pull out three or four words that you think would kind of match your story. Um, so, for example, if it's, you know, how to be the strongest person in the world, the word muscle could be used um, in yours effectively and maybe physical could be used. So um, it all depends really on the plot that you have chosen for your story. So just have a, a look through and maybe pause the video and choose three or four words that would match your title of your story and the plot that you're trying to create. OK, and then your task today is to fill out a planning sheet in the form of a story mountain. Now, hopefully you remember this from yesterday because we looked at um, the book, the topic book, and we mapped out that plot. So hopefully this will be familiar to you. Um, so this is just an example that I have written um, and my story is called How to be the best at everything. So I've created a character called Millie. Um, and she's going to find the book in the school library. Um, she's going to have like a sports day or some sort of event and she's going to come last and she's going to feel kind of not great about herself and she's going to think, oh, I really want to be the best at this. How can I do it? Um, and she's going to find a book in the library called How to Be the Best at Everything. 
and then she's going to meet someone I haven't quite decided yet um but another character that I need to add um and they're going to tell her look you can't be good at everything if you were it's going to kind of have an effect on other people that they'll never be the best that you'll have Freddie in your class that's the best runner you'll have um Sarah in your class that's really good at reading um and that's good because everyone has their own thing that they're really good at and that boosts their self-esteem but if you're the best at everything those people aren't going to have anything about themselves that they feel good about and that's going to make them feel a bit rubbish um and that could affect maybe her friendships because it's quite difficult to be friends with someone that's, that's good at everything all the time and that not affect you um so yeah i've kind of just put a, a brief kind of note here that it's it's not going to be good for other people um and then she's going to resolve that by thinking actually you know what i've got skills and talents in other areas that other people don't and i'm going to embrace those things about myself and i'm going to practice running because actually it's something that i'm not that confident with so i'm going to put in the extra effort and keep practicing um and then at the end of my story she's going to come third so she's not going to win but she's going to improve and not come last anymore um so that that hard work has kind of helped her progress and then the moral the lesson of my story is that everyone has their own strengths and we should embrace them within ourselves and then i've put three words here from the five six list and um, that i think can be used um, within my story. So once you've done that, just kind of literally brief sentences in each box, that's the end of today's task. And tomorrow you're going to have a chance to start writing this up. So um, if you can add more details to this, perhaps you could turn the page over and start writing um, more detailed notes if you like, that will help you out ready for tomorrow. Um, a huge well done for today's work though, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.